I'm going to have a look at this Kareem question, which is a well, it's a 20 mark question in section B. We're just going to go through the, the first part here. Um, 14 marks to adjust profit for the year and bank. So we've got the question over here. Kareem is a sole trader who owns a business, a wholesale business for baking equipment. Um, the finance officer has prepared a draft income statement um, which shows a draft profit of 58,320. So we've got a draft profit of 58,320. We can enter in over there. I think in the question that was already done for you. And the closing bank balance is £14,784 overdrawn. And then we've got five adjustments that have not yet been taken into account. So my advice with these is always to think through the full double entry and then think, well, does any of that have any impact on, first of all, the profit um, and secondly, the bank? And if it does, is it going to increase the profit um, or decrease the profit. If it's going to decrease it, put it in brackets. Same with the bank. We've already got an overdraft of 14784 So if we make a payment, we need to put that in brackets. We'll make the overdraft bigger. Um, and if it's money received, we will put that as a positive figure because it will reduce the overdraft. So note number one, then, trade payables were paid after having taken cash discount of 4%. Well, that 4% is 4% not of the 720 but of the full amount. So if we were to take the 720 and divide it by um, 96, which is 100%, which is the amount we don't know, um, that's the amount outstanding, um, minus the 4% cash discount that we've been given, discount received, that will leave us with 720. So to find the discount, we need to multiply that 720 by four over 96, and that will actually increase our profit. So 720 times four, over 96 is 30 pounds. That means that the, the full amount of the liability would have been 750, because 750 times the 4% is that 30, the discount received. Of course, in the bank account, we need to take 720 pounds out. Um, the insurance that's been paid for the six months ending 31st of October, well, his year end was the 30th of June. So we only want May and June, which is two months worth, in the income statement. So it's going to reduce profit 2325, but not by the full amount, only by two over six. So 775. The other four six would be treated as a prepayment and carried forward to the next period. But obviously, with the bank account, we've got the full 2325 coming out. So the double entry there would have been to um, debit insurance with the 2325 and credit the bank, but then to have removed four six of it. So the difference between those two figures taken that out as a prepayment. So the upshot of all of this is that profit goes down by 775, whereas the bank goes down by the full amount. Goods for own use, number three, Kareem's taken 470 pounds worth. So the double entry there is the debit drawings and credit purchases. So we're gonna add that to the profit because we're reducing purchases, um, therefore our profit will go up. And nothing is happening to the bank. We can just put a dash in there, no money's changed hands, he's just taken goods. Remember, with goods thrown use, never be tempted to adjust the closing inventory figure, always needs to come out for purchases. Um, closing inventory is a, a calculated figure, usually by counting the inventory and multiplying it up by the cost price. So don't be tempted to adjust that. Okay, note four, we've got 1st of May 2021, a van that cost 20640 was purchased. It was financed by a four-year interest-free loan. Okay, so no money's changed hands at the moment. So the double entry with the van would be to debit the van account. It's an asset, 20640 and credit the loan accounts and non-current liability. So neither of those things are going to affect the bank. They're both on the statement of financial position, non-current assets, non-current liabilities, but doesn't affect profit, doesn't affect bank. We've not got any interest to deal with, it's an interest-free loan, but we did make a monthly repayment. So the monthly repayment started on the 1st of June. So that means we've paid one repayment. So we need to take out of the bank account 20,640 divided by 48, because it's a four year loan, 12 months in a year, 48 months. So we've actually paid 430 pounds um, back. So the double entry for that is to credit the bank and debit the uh, the loan account. On the income statement though, we're gonna to have to deal with depreciation. Now, don't be fooled by the fact that the loan started to be repaid on the 1st of June. Um, the van actually arrived on the 1st of May um, and motor vehicles are depreciated at 30% using the straight line method on a month by month basis. So that means we need to time apportion the depreciation. So the depreciation is gonna be 
20,640 times 30%, okay, but then times 2 over 12 because it's only two months worth of depreciation. 0640 times 0.3, so one year's worth of depreciation, 6192 divided by 12 is 516 a month, okay, 516 times 2. Okay, note five then, credit sales of 1720. So 1720 is going to put the profit up, debit um, the trade receivables, credit the sales um, figure there. So 1720 increase in profit. Trade receivables have been received into the bank account. So that's going to increase the bank. So debit um, the bank account, 3910 credit trade receivables. Unfortunately, then one of those bounced. So it included a check from a customer that had been declined. So that was returned to Kareem unpaid. So that's going to reduce the bank balance by £135. Um, so the double entry for that when the check is bounced is to debit the customer, the trade receivable and credit the bank account. And then subsequent to that, Kareem decided to treat this as an irrecoverable debt. So at that point, we're going to debit um, the income statement with an expense at irrecoverable debt. So that will reduce profit by 135 um, and then credit the trade receivable account. OK, so at the end of all of this, we've got a profit figure of 58,598 and the bank overdraft is down to 14,484. Thanks very much for watching.